are going to go to the word of God real quick. Because we are not joking. We don't keep, tell somebody we don't play church here. Uh -huh, we don't play church. We give the real fire. Now let's go to the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 9. 1 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 24 to 27. He says, Now ye know ye not that they that run in the race run all. <laughs> but one receiveth the prize. So run that ye may obtain. Tell somebody run. Uh -huh. Level one. And every man that striveth for the mastery is temperate in all things. Now they, now they do it to obtain corruptible crown. But we incorruptible. 26. I therefore so wrong, not as uncertainty, so fight I, not as one that beat the air. 27. But I keep under my body and bring it under subjection. Lest that by any means, when I have preached to others. Hmm. That I myself should not be an outcast. Or you cannot be an outcast. I declare today that the world will not cast you out. Our God will not cast you out. After you have preached the word, that you make it. I say you finish the race. You cross over. I say you shall cross over. Am I talking to somebody? Somebody jump up. Say I'm crossing over. Somebody jump up. Say I cross over. Shout I cross over. Shout it again. Say I cross over. Sit down. My message is run to win. Run to win. So many people took the race. They did not take it to the end. They did not win. Why? Because maybe they were distracted. Maybe they were confused. Maybe they were in dangerous sin. And they didn't know what to do. Maybe so much. They carry so much load. That they cannot run with those load. But Paul is telling us. That this race. That we are on a race. Is somebody hearing me? That everybody has to run. Oh Rabbi you are not hearing me today. Everybody got to run this race. It does not matter who you are. It does not matter your qualification. When we come before God, we are equal. We are equal. Everyone will run this race. They say, everybody mind yourself. As you run this race, run it with dignity. Be focused on God. Take your eyes off others. Be what you say you are. If you don't be what you say you are, you may be an outcast. Why the people you preached to? Why the people you converted? Why the people you brought in? They will stay in that place. They win the crown. Why you become an outcast? That shall not be your portion. Sense of God. I say it shall not be. I come as an apostle. I say any distraction. Other human being. Where the powers of darkness. Powers from your father's house. That want to limit you today. They must bow. I say they shall bow. On friendly friends. That want to limit you. I said they shall bow. Somebody said they must bow. Shout it again. No, no, no. You are not telling me. Somebody is not telling me. Listen, this race is real. We are on a race and the race is an open field. It is an open field. And to some people, they'll think there's no referee. Some people think there's no coach. They can misbehave in the race. Oh, Rabakata. But those who know their God. Do I have a believer here? Those who know their God. Know that their God cannot tell a lie. God cannot lie. I say God cannot lie. I may not be making it. But I'm advancing. Somebody shout, I advance. Sit down. It is an open race. It is a, it's, 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 it's a race. So whoever, if you don't join the race, you miss it. Because when they say, get ready. 
on their backs. Go. If you don't go, you miss it. So you have to stay to the next race. I say you not stay to the next race because the man of God is coming soon. Do I have a believer here? He's coming like a thief. If you don't prepare yourself, you may be left behind. I say you shall not be left behind. Somebody say, I'm moving forward. Jesus. Oh, I feel an anointing here. I feel that something is burning. I said something is burning. In the name of Jesus. No power will stop me. Tell somebody no power will stop you. Say you are on a race. That is why Paul said. Paul. In Philippians chapter 3. Verse 13 to 14. Yes. He said listen. It's not that I have obtained yet. Brethren. I count myself. I count myself <laughs> not to have apprehended. I've not arrived yet. I've not arrived. You that think you have arrived, right, then you can relax. But I'm on a race. I'm telling somebody, I am on a race. And I will not stop until I hit the goal. Is somebody hearing me? Until I wear the crown, I'm not going to stop. When you try to stop me, you will not get me because I'm looking unto him. Is somebody hearing me? Somebody shall fire. Somebody shout fire! Shout fire! Shout fire! Tell somebody, don't even disturb me. Say, this race is real. The race is real. Uh -huh. It's not that I've apprehended, but there's one thing I do. Upon all the attacks, upon all the arrows, upon all the accusations, upon all the wicked ways, they spoke concerning me. Forgetting those things. Uh, forget those things. Uh, forget those things that are behind. Uh, I cannot look back. Uh, this journey, I'm running. Uh, as I'm running, uh, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. I am running. Uh, somebody shout, run! There's one thing I do. <laughs> you can ask me, how far have you gone? Apostle, how did you get here? There's one thing I do. How were you able to make it? Upon all the serpents, upon all the lions, all the dragons. That's one thing I do. Forgetting those things that are behind. Come on, come on. And I press forward. Because there's a mark, there's a mark. There is a mark. There's a mark, there's a mark. I press forward towards the mark. Because I know I shall finish well. Is somebody hearing me? I say I shall finish well. Slap somebody say you shall finish well. Reaching forth unto those things which are before. I cannot go back anymore. <laughs> I just want to get there. No matter what it is, I must get there. So reaching forth towards those things that are before. I press. I press. Because I know so there's, there are powers pressing. There are powers pressing. But I have to press with his power. Oh, come on. Because this race, uh, I'm not the one running it. Uh, he's running it with me. Uh, I said, Jesus is on this race. Uh, Jesus is on this race. Uh, he's running this race with me. Uh, so I'm pressing. Uh, I'm pressing to the upward height. Uh, I am pressing uh, to my next level. Uh, a greater height. Uh, I will not stop here. Come on. I can't stop here. I said, I can't stop here. I can't stop here. Take the fire. I can't stop here. 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 Is somebody hearing me? I cannot stop here. I must go forward. I cannot stop here with this marital issue. I cannot stop here with joblessness. I cannot stop here with this immigration case. I have somewhere. I am going forward. I am going forward. I am going forward. Somebody shall fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody shall fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't stop. I can't stop here. Don't even worry about me. The race is not for the swift. Uh -uh. The race is not for the swift. It's not for the qualified. It's not for the titled. 
Uh, it's God that gives the increase. So don't worry about me. My past is my past. Where I was before is crucified with him. I'm no longer there. The life in which I now live, I live by faith through Christ who gave his life for me. So don't worry about me. I am running my race. Oh, come on. I am on my lane. I will not look back. Somebody shout fire. Son, anywhere they took your name to, get up. Whoever is that witch doctor that think they can try you. That's why at times they want you to leave this church because they want to finish you. But God said to tell you today, fire is born in them. Take it. It's not that I have attained. Fire is in this house. I don't know what you are feeling, but there's fire in this foundation. <laughs> Take it. <laughs> there's fire in this foundation. I don't know what you are saying, but I feel the power. God is giving you a new spirit. He's giving you a new spirit. Take it. <laughs> Take it. <laughs> power. Power. After today, they can't recognize you. Take that baby. Come on. Power. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take that heart desire. <laughs> Take it, peace. It's not that I have attained. There's one thing I do. Because I'm on the race. In this race, I cannot stop. I cannot stop in this race. I have to be focused. Is somebody hearing me? I say I have to be focused. Somebody shout, I am focused. Somebody shout, I am focused. Why should I be focused? According to Isaiah 40, verse 31. You all don't know who. They don't know who you are. I shall mount up. When you think you are competing with me, after a while you can't see me because it's not me. The race is with Jesus. I said this race. The race is with Jesus. So when you think you are running with me, no, you are not running with me. This battle is not canal. I said this race is not canal. This race is not canal. Jesus is going before me. So I shall mount up wings. I shall run. I will not be weary. You think I will be weary? No. The strength is not my strength. When I'm weak, he's strong. When I'm weak, he's strong. So this race is not my own. This strength is not my strength. In the name of Jesus. Why? According to Psalm 23 verse 1. The Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. Do I have a believer here? Shall the Lord is my shepherd. Shout it again, say the Lord is my shepherd. Shout it one more time. Say the Lord is my shepherd. So you think Apostle Esther is running with you, no? The Lord is my shepherd. So the shepherd leads. Shepherd leads. All I need to do is to follow the shepherd. I shall not want. He leaded me beside the still waters. Beside his still waters, he restored my soul. Yet though, demons will fight. Yet though, I walk through the valley and shadow of death, I shall fear no evil, for thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Is somebody hearing me? Do you need comfort? The Lord shall comfort you. Are you depressed? The Lord is your shepherd. Are you hungry? He shall provide food for you. I'm talking to somebody. Are you thirsty? He shall give you drink. Are you in pain? He's your pain taker. He takes your pain. He has nailed your pain at the cross. He has nailed your pain. So the Lord is my shepherd. I'm on the track. I am running. I'm on a race. So don't even bother about me. I'm on a race. Look at it. Jeremiah chapter 3 verse 15. He said I'll give you pastors. <laughs> Jeremiah three fifteen. I will give you pastor after my own heart. It's not only everybody that can pastor you. With all the demons that is following you. Some of you that your legs are not. Today you go there, go empty your head, you come back. You go there, go empty yourself, you come back. 
How long will you go around in circle? Look at somebody and say, how long? I will give you pastors according to my heart. We shall feed you. We shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. So many people, your head are open. You just go full of, full of spirit. You got people that are going there, you go. Is that the pastor God has for you? I shall. That's the word of God. There are people on the wrong track. They are running this way. Then they put double their leg. If you double their leg, how, leg, how fast will you go? Somebody that is going. Oh, that when you do this, somebody shall fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody say fire. I will give you pastors according to my heart. We shall feed you. Number one work of a pastor is to feed. The Lord said to, to Peter, feed my, do you love me? John chapter 21, I think 17. He said, Peter, do you love me? Peter said, yes. I love. He said, this love is not like that. Oh, you are on a race. Uh -huh. Now show me one of it. Feed my sheep. When you are on that place, they are not feeding you. What are you looking for there? Just to go and show, show and come back. Somebody say, I disconnect. <laughs> say, my pastor is capable of feeding me. Are you hearing me? Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1 to 2. Some of us are carrying load we should not carry. Because with this race we are running, that load must go. <laughs> ah, tell somebody you're carrying too much load. <laughs> tell somebody you're carrying too much load. Break that load. Come on. Lose him. Lose him. Lose him. Somebody shout. Lose him from that load. I command that load to fall. <laughs> Two of you. Two of you. That load is, is, is going to leave you. Two of you. There are loads that both of them carry. Both of them carry evil load. It's falling. Somebody say, take it off them. And I say, pastor, I take it off you. That's the work of a pastor. Uh -huh, that's the work. I can't hand it over to nobody. They must be delivered. Are you hearing me? That is why they are here to be delivered. Uh, that every evil load must backfire. Somebody shall backfire. Somebody shall backfire. Somebody shall backfire. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 1 Wherefore say we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witness compassed about wrapped <laughs> let us lay aside every weight if I carry this on my head I, run, I have to be careful because if I know all will Lord, all will fall and it, it will hinder my growth is somebody hearing me it will hinder me that when I lay aside, somebody I'm running, uh, running to take back my marriage. Uh, I'm running to take back my marriage. Uh, I'm running to take back my education. I'm running to take back my job. Uh, I'm running to take back my children. Uh, as I'm running uh, to take back my position, uh, somebody shall run. Fire. Come, 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 come and take. Fire. Watch fire here. What fire? Uh -huh. What fire? That's a fire. That's number one fire. Christopher, come and take it quickly. Come on, come on. You come and take it. Yes, let it, just watch him. As you touch him, you carry the fire. Take it. That fire, that fire. The fire is in the house. Now watch out. Watch Christopher. That is the fire. Watch him. Don't touch him before the fire touch him. Let the fire act. Let the fire act. Let You think that thing came out of a dog? It came out of the anointed. Take the fire. That's it. Take it. You come. Eunice, come and take. Take it. Take that fire. Father in the name of that's it. Watch her. Watch the fire. That's it. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh -huh. we, we don't play games here. Somebody shall fire. Somebody shall fire. Shall fire. Yeah, yeah. Tell somebody drop the weight. Say you cannot run with that weight. Let us run with patience. Run with patience so that we can get there on time. Verse 2. Give me verse 2. Oh my God in heaven. Thank you. Looking unto Jesus. If I have to win this race, I'm not looking unto a man. I'm not looking unto my husband. I'll pray for my husband. I'll, I don't tell you I'm disobeying him. But my eye is on 
Because this race, me and my husband can fall. I don't want two of us to fall. If he fall, I'm there. If I fall, he's there. And God is there to lift us up. Is somebody hearing me? So I look unto God, the author, the author and finisher. Is somebody hearing me? The finisher of our faith. Who, for the joy that was set beside, endured the cross. He endured the cross because of you. Are you hearing me? Despising the shame. All the shame of poverty. He carried your shame of affliction he carried. Everything he carried. And he has, he's sitting at the right hand. He said, listen. This race, my son must win it. My daughter must win this race. I am here. The race in that job, you must win it. The race in that business, you must win. Even that marital, marital situation, you must win. Why? Because he is your shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want he make it me right. Lie down. Even when I'm lying down, he's watching me. I said, when I'm lying down, he's watching me. I want to tell you that my God is watching you. I say he's protecting you. He's watching you. If an enemy will rise up, uh, that devil will come down. Uh, I say that devil will die. He's watching you. He's controlling you. Uh, he's guiding you. Uh, do I have a believer here? Tell somebody rise up and run. Uh, tell somebody rise up. Uh, tell somebody rise up. Uh, say rise up and run. Uh, shout it again. Uh, say I say rise up and run one more time. Uh, say I say rise up and run. Uh, rise up, rise up. Uh, any woman that kept you bound. I lose you. You are such a great man. They tied your destiny. I command today that you rise up. You rise up and run that race. Don't give up, daughter. He will make it. Don't give up. Somebody say, I'm running. Tell somebody I'm running. Tell somebody I'm running. Shout it again. Shout it again. Son, be careful with the voice you hear. Too many. They are making you go to double lane. They are confusing you. You're supposed to be running and you're a good runner. All of a sudden, within two weeks now, your, lane, your legs are spread. You're on double lane. Go back to one lane. Go back to one lane. Somebody shall go back to one lane. Enough is enough. This race is an open race. It's an open field. We just need to go forward. Tell somebody you are advancing. Tell it you are advancing. That you will never go back. Saints of God, this, this race, so many people have lost it. They missed it because they were distracted. They missed it because they are looking back. They are depending on a friend. They are depending on their father. They are depending on their mother. They are into sin. All kinds of sin. When you are in sin, Jesus is your shepherd. Then you are disconnected. Satan is not your, your shepherd. So you are disconnected. If we want to run this race and miss and get it, be careful what you say. Be careful what you say. Don't judge any man of God. Don't judge the anointed. Because <laughs> the anointed, let God take care of them. Are you hearing me? What makes you win this race? What type of impact? What manifestation? What are, how are people seeing you in this race? Do they know you are a kingdom runner? Do they know you are a kingdom runner? That you don't faint. There's a crown for you. So what really matter? Are you holding on to him? As author and finish off our face. How much have you impacted? What have you impacted in your local church? What are you doing in your local church to impact others? Are you, are you station destroyer? When you come, your mouth is like double serpent. Before you notice, you drive everybody off. It's a wrong place to be. Tell somebody it's a wrong place to be. So we have to be careful, saints of God. Because this race is real. Tell somebody this race is real. You need to know that the race is real. Everybody must run by itself. I cannot run for my husband. My husband cannot run for me. I just have to be focused and run this race. Because 100% focus is demanded of me. Because God is watching me. And if I give my husband the wrong advice, I'm going to be, I'm going to be asked, I'm going to, I'm going to be judged for it. So let us stand on the right lane and be focused and that is what matters. Number two, what matters? There's no resting in this race. This race, no, you can't be running and say, eh, I beg, I want to go to, do they have hotel here? Hotel nine. 
take my credit card. No. It's a continuous race. Because why? This sin is not, the Lord is my shepherd. I cannot eat carnal food when I'm supposed to eat the bread of life. Daniel said, I will not eat the bread of this world or the meat of the king because Daniel knew that he'll be contaminated when he eat the meat of the king. Today, some of us have been dining with Jezebel. If only we disconnect Jezebel, we are going to possess the crown. Somebody shout, disconnect Jezebel. Some of us are in the wrong table. Eat him, but because you are not with him. So God is just watching you. So know that the race, there's no resting. You must, you must continue in the race. You are praying, keep on praying. You are, pro, you are, you are praying, you are, you are evangelizing, you are cleaning the house, you are, you are in choir. Keep on, there's no, there's no rest until we get there. That is where we rest, because when you rest, Satan will come. Satan is going to and fro seeking who to devour. So we cannot rest. Is somebody hearing me? We cannot rest. In this race, everyone is a runner. And everyone has their lane. You cannot come to my lane. You have defaulted. You cannot come to my lane. If not, you hear the referee. Somebody just fouled. You, you just, <laughs> you had something. And then you have failed. Just said, get out. Just go. Because you did not keep your lane. May God not destroy. May God not tell you not to. No, no, no. No, you did not keep your lane. May we keep our lane. Tell somebody, keep your lane. And in this running, you may fail. You may fall. You may lose something. But you are not a failure. If you jump up. And continue to this. You may be distracted. Things can happen. You fall. Does not mean that you are a failure. If only you jump up, shake it off, and say, "No, I am on the race." Oh, yeah, begin to run. Begin to run. Begin to run. Begin to run. You see that you overtake, but you fell yesterday. You fell, but because you did not sleep there, you rose up and you began to run. You are not a poor man. You will not die in poverty. You will not die in lack. You are not dying a failure. You shall possess your possession. You shall possess a marriage. As I possess a marriage, you possess your education. You possess your promotion. I say your promotion is now. In as much as you do not stop. Tell somebody rise and run. You may fail. Tell somebody it's not my final journey. I am on a race. Tell somebody I am on a race. And I will surely make it. In the name of Jesus. Listen, some people are already. They think they are in the race. But they are not. They've been cast out a long time ago. Example, Saul. Saul was, the throne has been taken from Saul. The spirit has departed from Saul. Spirit has departed. Echabod. The spirit has, has departed. But Saul thought he still carried the power. He thought he was still in. Oh yes. Saints of God. So many. So many are in the church. Because of their disobedience. Because of their wickedness. Because of what they did. Oh yes. The throne has been taken away. May God restore back our race. May God restore back our lane. Say, oh God, restore me again. Say that one more time. We must, we must get to the end. This race is self-discipline. You need to discipline yourself. I need to discipline myself. Not everything I do. Not every food I eat. Not every party you go. Not every party. Not everybody that knock at your door, you open. You singles. When everybody come, you don't even care who is. Provided they give you money. Provided they take you for nine ninety nine. That is all. May you keep your dignity. I'm talking to somebody. Keep your dignity. It's not everybody that say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shall enter the kingdom of God. Are you hearing me? We just have to look unto Jesus as author. I'm talking to somebody in the name of Jesus. Jesus, as author, keep your dignity, be disciplined in what you do, what you eat, where you go, the type of things you say, are you disciplined? The type of people that are around you, are you disciplined? I'm talking to somebody, what kind of life are you living? Are you in the lane? Just ask somebody for me. Look at somebody, are you in the lane? Are you in the lane? So it is self-discipline. 
If you are not disciplined, you go the wrong, you are on the wrong track already. You are on the wrong lane. But if we discipline ourselves, God is able to put us back where we belong. Says of God, what you need to do, this lane, there's an end to it. There's no lane that is everlasting. When you run this lane, there's an end. That place where your crown is waiting for you. Where your crown is waiting for you. Because you have, according to, 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 to Paul, said, I fought a good fight. Second Timothy chapter 4, verse 7. Paul said, I have fought a good fight. I have finished. I have finished. So with that lane, there's a finishing point. If only you continue to run. Looking onto Jesus as author and finisher. Whatever they do to you, looking onto Jesus. Whatever they come with distraction, I am just looking onto Jesus as author. You can call me a fool. You can think I'm not watching. You can think I'm not, I'm not doing anything. You can think I'm nothing. But all I'm doing simply, all I'm doing simply, I'm looking onto Jesus because I am on a race. Is somebody hearing me? I must win. I must win. I must run to win. Is somebody there? I am not a fake. I'm not a disappointment. I'm not a disgrace. I am a blessing. So I must run this race to win at the end. Tell somebody, win! Sit down. The race, there's an end to the race. There is an end. So when it comes to an end, the Bible says, in Exodus 14, 14 and 15, why are you worried? Keep on running. Even when you lose breath. He said, I will fight for you. <laughs> My divine oxygen is going with you. I will fight for you. <laughs> and you shall hold your peace. Son, don't give up. Daughter, don't give up. Don't give up. You think now you can't pay your rent. You think now you don't have a car. Your gas, you don't have gas money. Wait on the Lord. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up wings like eagle. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. I'm talking to somebody. They shall see you at your next level. Is somebody hearing me? They shall see you at your next level. That level is a level of greatness, of success, of abundance, of announcement. Somebody say, I'm getting there. He said, listen. 15, he said, why are you crying? Why crying? Tell the children, of, why are they crying? Let them look forward. Let them, let them move forward. Move forward. Speak to the children of God. That they go forward. This race is not for them. I am with them. I will not leave them, nor forsake them. I am making a way for them. Even where there seem to be no way. Your enemies may have laughed you. Family members will have laughed you. You say you go to church. You carry Bible every day. Wait, they will see. They will see what I can do. Because I am your rewarder. I am your rewarder. I am your rewarder. I shall reward you. Don't be dismayed. I shall reward you. Do I have a believer here? I will. I shall. Yes. You may not have it today. Tomorrow is there. Tomorrow I shall bless you. The next minute I shall bless you. Wait on the Lord. I say wait. Wait. I am on a race. Tell somebody. I'm on a race. Say I'm running. Say I am running. Listen. You see, if devil made the worst mistake. He went to touch Job. In Job chapter 2, verse 7. Listen, you may be quiet. But they don't know who you are. Uh -huh. You may be quiet. <laughs> uh -huh. They don't know who you carry. If only they know who you carry, they will know they can't touch you. But any power that touch you from today, they shall be scattered several ways. That is the word of the Lord. He said they shall come in one way. As you are running this race with me, they shall come in one way and they shall flee several ways. Somebody shout several ways. Jump up and shout several ways. Jump up and shout several ways. Jump up and shout several ways. Sit down. Satan, you know God knows about you. He knows the lane you are in. So when you are missing on that lane, he knows. When you are sick on that lane, he knows. When you have been afflicted, he knows. So when Satan came to try, he said, okay, I know something you cannot touch. And in all you are touching, I'm turning it to good. Because what you meant for evil, I will use it to glorify him. God, that's what God is doing today. You may think you have lost something. Stay on your lane. Stay. So what happened? He afflicted 
Job with boils and sickness. All of her friends and wife said, why don't you curse God and die? Job looked at that woman and said, you talk like a foolish woman. Listen, there's some foolishness around you. There's some foolish people around you that don't, they don't know what they are saying. But instead of you to tell them the truth, you come out of the lane. You are running on the range. One foolish person says, ah, you are still in that church. Ah, you are still, really, ah, you are still fire, fire, fire. He said, that is true. It's not in the Bible. Did that person know Bible? Then you fall. The person that is telling you that, he doesn't even know John 3, 16. And they will begin to challenge the house of God. And then you just jump. Because they say, the woman is killing people. Uh, she's, uh, she killed. She did kill. Uh -huh. Why didn't you ask the woman have knife in her hand? But after a while you fall. Because somebody says something about your pastor. The Bible says, I will give you pastor. That will feed you. That will speak the word with fire. That will defend you. That will defend you. That will restore you. That will cover you with fire and the Holy Ghost. Somebody receive. Shout fire. What happened? Job was afflicted. But Job 13, 15. Job 13, 15. Job said, though he slays me. Yet. We like trust in him. But I will maintain. I will maintain my own ways before God. Have you been afflicted? Has the enemy emptied you? Have you lost anything? Wait on the Lord. Wait. Job said, I will wait on the Lord. And Job 14, 14. Job said, if a man dies, shall he live again? Do I have somebody here? If a man dies, shall he live again? But all the days of my appointed time. Saints of God, this lane, there's an appointed time. This lane, there's an appointed time. I shall run. I shall wait on him. I shall wait on him. Somebody say, wait on him. Job said, I will wait until my change will come. Uh -huh. You may say what you want to do. I'm running and waiting. I'm not stopping. Because there's no stop. Just let me run. I'm not going to be tired because it's not my strength. It's his strength. So when you waste your time to be observing me, you will be tired because you are doing it by your strength. But I'm doing it by the strength of the almighty God. Somebody shout, I am a winner. Come on, open your mouth, shout, I am a winner. This is not time to, to begin to look for ice cream. Go and buy it in Kroger. You don't need to come to church to receive ice cream. One ninety nine, you get a pack. Go eat it. Instead of you to come to church, you begin to are nose with ice cream. You begin to pray like people that are dying. We don't do that here. Somebody shall fire. Job fought the battle to the end. He said, I wait on God. At the end, in Job 42, verse 10, the Bible says Job recovered. Why? Because he refused to stop. The enemy wanted him to stop. Satan came and slapped him. They did all. How so wickedness came? Wife came. Uh, what is worse than a wife that you sleep with? To tell you used to be my. What is wrong with you? Why don't you cause God and die? That, that man has been tormented. We don't know what that woman did to the man. But all this one we hear, he said, why don't you cause God and die? We don't know the suffering that Job suffered in his own house. But yet, though he slays me, I will trust in him. Somebody shall fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. You see, people don't know the suffering they suffer. Now, but in, in all, there's a crown. In all. Tell somebody, in all, there is a crown. So Job recovered all for his pain. God became his painkiller. For his affliction, God was his healer. Mm. He was his provider. Tell me, what else do I need? What else do I need? Tell somebody I am on the winning lane. Tell, say it with enthusiasm. Say it with confidence. I am on the winning lane. If you believe that, take it. So now, how do we run this race before we start praying? How do we run this race, saints? How do you run it? Number one criteria, you have to be born again. You have to be saved. You just have to be saved. That's salvation. 
You need to run the race of salvation. You need to give your life to God. For John, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him will not perish, but have. Step one. So if I've given my life to Jesus, who gave his life for me, I'm ready to give my life to others. Everybody quiet. I should be able to give my life to others because the life is not mine. That is a ticket for your race. Salvation. There's no gate crashing. No gate. If, even when Peter was preaching to the children of God, he said in, in Acts chapter 2 verse 40, Acts chapter 2 verse 40, Peter said, save your lives. Give God all. John chapter, Matthew chapter 3 verse 7. Matthew 3 verse 7, John said, you brood of vipers, what have you come to do? Pretenders. John was baptizing, baptizing, but there were people that were ready to challenge him, but they pretended to smile. Like few of you that are here today. I bet you better give it all to Jesus. You came at the right time. What? He saw their hearts. But when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees that came to his baptism, he said unto them, John said unto them, O ye generation of vipers, snakes, boars, who has warned you to flee from the wrath to come? If you continue, say, bear fruit. Bear fruit of righteousness. Says of God, so many we think bring forth fruit of righteousness. Some of us think the, 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 the race is like that. No, we are going to, we are on a race and we are accountable for what we get. We are accountable to complete the race. Jesus has saved us. Now run. He's with you, but you need to run. You need to run with the word of God. You, read, you need to run knowing that he's the author and finisher of your faith. Then number two, when you, when you get this, when you, get, when you are saved, how much do you impact others? Run to impact others. That's number two. You run to impact others. Like Matthew chapter 28, verse 18 to 19, we are told that we should go ye, baptizing in the name of the Father. Preach the gospel. Tell them, Jesus saves. So when you are saved, you are saved to go and tell others. Not to see that we need evangelists. We need people in the church that will just want to go. I'm going to evangelize to win souls for Christ. Number three, are you, are, are you a soul winner? When you are on this race, you are on the race to become a soul winner. You are telling them, Jesus says, if I tell you my testimony, because some of you had great testimony, but you sat down and you couldn't testify. I was looking at people testifying, no good testimony. There are people that had great testimony, sat down. Why? Because you, 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 you are afraid somebody will carry your testimony. But Jesus said they overcame by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony. God wants us to testify. So are you spreading the word? You can spread it in your job. You don't need to say, oh, I don't have a job. You can be a light in your job. You can be a light if you win souls. Like what my sister said, my daughter said about Michelle. I don't know where they met, but Michelle talked to her. That's why we have such a gold in the house. Why? Because she opened her mouth. God is bringing so many people by your way, but you are not talking. It's time to talk. It's time to win souls. It's time to be a soul winner. God, God has given you power. Spread the gospel. Now this race, this race is a successful race. How are you running as a warrior? Run to be a successful warrior. Become a successful prayer warrior. As we are running, how many times do you pray? How many times do you pray for your church? How many times do you pray for your pastor? How many times do you come here to intercede? And yet to say, God, give me, give me. God has given you power to pray, but you are keeping it. It is time to use what God has given to you. Let us be successful in becoming prayer warriors. Become, come to the church and become one. one. The, the Bible says the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous availeth much. Now, run with your talent. Everybody has something. Everybody has a talent. Everybody has a gift. The Bible says, in Genesis chapter 128, it said, I, I'm blessing, I bless them. Multiply, replenish the earth, subdue it. God blessed every one of us. Every one of us have a talent. Every one of us have a gift. Use your gift. 
to multiply the kingdom of God. Satan cannot depopulate the kingdom of God. We should populate the kingdom of God. We should speak the word. Go out there and evangelize. Bring them in. Use your gift. Use your And with your gift, that gift you have, because you fail does not make you a failure. Listen, you cannot be baking a cake and you continue opening the fridge, I mean the, the oven. With the cake bake, you wait too long and the cake may even decline. Because Papa could not wait for cake to bake. Oh, just now. If you want the cake to bake, put some fire. Put the right degree and wait on the cake. Let us empower ourselves. The cake is cooking. While the cake is cooking, get ready yourself. Yes, somebody will eat this cake. God has cooked you for this level. It is time to go forth and spread the cake. Tell somebody I'm spreading the cake. <laughs> Yeah, the cake baker has released you. Go. Distribute the cake. Distribute the cake. Is somebody hearing me? You took that test and you failed. You are not a failure until you stop fighting. You are not a failure until you stop. If I fail today, that does not make me a failure. It makes me a better person in the kingdom of God. All I need to do is just to, what made me fail? Calculate it. Okay, now with God, all things are possible. I do my own and God will do it. Own. I go closer to God. Let us not serve God when necessary. When PRN, you come to church because something happened in your job. You come to church because you have a problem in your marriage. No. Come to church. The Bible says we should serve him in spirit and in truth. Give him all. Give God all. Give God all. Serve him. Keep on fighting. Don't stop. Continue with that job. You don't have a job. You don't have a business. Start the business again. God gave me this business. I'm not going to stop. My father gave me this business. In as much as God gave me this business, it must arise again. Because when you stop that business, the devil will say, yes, I stop it. But in as much as I did not stay there, I fell. Yes, I agree. I agree I fell, but I refuse to stay there. Do I have somebody? The race must be complete. This race must be complete. Yesterday, I was a failure. But today, I refuse to be a failure. I must overtake. I must possess. My green card, you must show up. My business, you must show up. My marriage, no, no. Nobody will marry you, honey. You may not call me honey, but I'm glued to you that we must make it together. Honey, where are you going to? Oh, yes, you are the apple of my eye. The thing is that at times we, we, we just accept failure so soon. If they give me a divorce letter, does not conclude it. That is telling me to pray. Uh huh. Once upon a time, we were honey. So bitterness came from somewhere. I now deal with what that bitterness is. By the time I deal with the bitterness, my honey will come back. No, we are not. Tell somebody, don't take failure. Tell somebody, the Bible says, where the sole of your feet shall touch, that is your land. And he said, behold, I've given you power to tread upon serpent and scorpion, and none can by any means hurt me. So God has given me power. Come on, come on. He has given me power to take, power to run, power to possess, power to recover, power to be what he has called me to be. It is called power. Somebody shall power. Sit down. Sit down. Uh -huh. Take charge. Run to take charge. Yes. Because you have been given power to take charge. Take dominion. He said, take, do that is the word of God. Take dominion. So God has given me power to, so when I'm going, and some power, some cobwebs are in front of me, I burn you. I take dominion. One strong man is standing. Say, madam, where are you going to? Uh huh. Where are you going to? Pfft. I drop you in the name of Jesus. Uh, Madam, uh, you don't own this place. I said, you don't own this place. Uh, from the beginning, uh, when God created me, uh, he said, I own it all. Uh, so this is my land. Uh, this is my land. Uh, because the Bible says, wherever the soul of my feet uh, shall touch, uh, that is my land. Tell somebody, run and take your land. Take your land. Don't give it to nobody. 
That land is yours. I said that land is yours. In the name of Jesus. So run to take dominion. Don't let this. Yes, devil exists. But it's not because of me devil came. Devil, came. devil know the people you attack. Because me and devil, we have settled a long time ago. You must go out of my house. You must leave now. You must leave. You cannot, you cannot be telling devil to leave and you are smiling. You cannot be telling devil to leave and you are crying. You are adjusting your dress. He will tear the dress the more. You just need to. You power of darkness. In the name of Jesus. I cast you out. Go now. In the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says no weapon form against me. My family shall prosper. Any tongue that rise up. I condemn you now. Get out. You demon of poverty. Get out of my house. You demon of failure. Get out. Out, uh, you demon of barrenness uh, have been delivered from it for long uh, so you cannot take charge uh, I am in control, I take charge uh, my father has given me power to take dominion, who said my business will not rise up, uh, no uh, I take dominion, uh, my God shall make it happen, uh, somebody shall fire don't take yes for an answer, when devil say no don't take it, take the yes you run, you run to co complete your, your, your destiny the fulfillment of your destiny. Write the vision according to Habakkuk. Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 1 to 2. He said, write it plain. As you are running, you are seeing it. I shall be great. Uh -huh. You are seeing it. Yes, that's it. It's reminding me. But somebody saying you will not make it. No, I know where I'm going. Just leave me. That's where I'm going. That's where I'm going. I've written it according to the word of God. He said, write it plain and run. He said, run with what? That's my brother. Run with it. You don't write it and you leave it. The devil will swallow it. The enemy will cover it. But when I write it, God said I should write. According to Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 2, I write it and I run. So that at the end I wear the crown. You cannot stop my crown. Tell somebody you cannot stop my crown. So as I'm running, even anybody that read with me, they know. They know that this one, you cannot touch you. This one know where they are going. Do you know when you are going somewhere? And you know where you are going, you go faster. Uh-huh. But if you are going to Dallas, you don't know where Dallas is. You begin to stop on the way. Five minutes is wasted. Ten minutes is wasted. Trying to get direction. But the Lord said, I will direct the steps. Those that know their God, the Lord shall direct their steps. The Lord directs the steps of a righteous. And those that know their God, they shall do exploit. I say, every one of you in this house, you shall do exploit. Am I talking to somebody? Am I talking to somebody? You shall do exploit. You shall fulfill purpose. Uh, you shall recover. I see you overtaken. Uh, as I see somebody overtaken, uh, you are overtaken. Uh, all those that said you will not rise up, uh, you rose up and you are overtaking them. Uh, all those that said uh, you will not get your business, uh, you will not have a job. Uh, now you are overtaking them. Uh, because once upon a time I was down, uh, but today I'm not down anymore. Uh, God has given me speed. Uh, I've waited on the Lord. Uh, when I was down, I was waiting. Uh, they thought I was giving up, uh, but I was waiting. Uh, but now that I rose up, I rose with fire, I rose with power, I rose with anointed. Somebody say fire. Tell somebody your life will never be the same. Say it again. Say it again. Constance, it's time to run. You are loaded. The Lord just, you are very loaded. Don't let situation cover you. Don't let some kind of emergency put you where you are not supposed to be. Keep on running. Are you hearing me? You are a runner. A kingdom runner. God has given you strength. He has given you power. And you are surrounded with his glory. So run that race. You shall win. I say you shall win. Is somebody hearing me? This is a day. In the name of Jesus. So run to serve. Run to serve. Are you, are you saved? Then you have to serve. Because I cannot believe that there's only one man in Alpha and Omega that can be in the choir. So there's no other man that can sing. So God only gave voice to women. 
You see how we let the power of God down? You see how we let the, the lane? So many of us have left our lane. Once upon a time, you were a singer. But you came to Alpha and Omega, you caught off singing. Because you want to act cute and sit and go, sit and go. But God is saying today you have been lifted. That you have to take your position in the house. Do I have a believer here? Some of us are sitting on our lane. You are not supposed to sit on your lane. You're supposed to run on your lane. Do I have a believer here? Jump up and run on that lane. Somebody jump up uh, and run uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, come on, come on, say, I'm running, 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 I'm running in Jesus' name. Go sit down. Run. Run with the gift God has given to you. Run with your talents. Be part of what God is doing. You can evangelize. Mighty men of valor. Let us rise and take our position in the house. Queen Esther's women. You are a woman. You are, you are, you are part of the Queen Esther's. Let us rise up and take our position. We are on a race. Don't let nobody discourage you. People that come to discourage you, I will not let nobody discourage me. He said you will be discouraged. You want to tell me about Sister A? You want to tell me about Sister B because you are a demon. I cast out that demon. You tell no, no, no. You said I'm going too far. You look at that demon and say, hey, hey, hey. No, 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 no. This race must be completed. You cannot stop me at this time. Do I have a believer here? You have to look at that demon in the eye and say, listen, if you have an issue with Sister A, go and settle. But as for me, I shall complete this race. Is somebody here? Shout, I shall complete this race. Shout it again. Don't let nobody stop you. There are people that have been anointed by Satan to stop others. At midnight, they'll call you on the phone. 11 p.m. when you want to sleep, they begin to spoil sister A. Begin to spoil because they just came out of the camp. They came to from the camp of devil. They begin to spoil sister A. They begin to spoil brother B. They begin to say as if they are good. But you don't know they are agents. Somebody say, cast out the agents. Instead of you to pray. We have time to pray. I don't even have enough time. I'm telling you. I'm looking for where did my time go? But yet people have time to call me, say, gossip, gossip, to spoil. They are taking you out of your lane. Tell somebody, mind your lane. Mind your lane. So let us serve. Run this race to complete your life, your holiness, sanctification, be sanctified. Be, live in holiness and purity of heart. Let God begin to run with you because when you are in sin, darkness has come. When you don't allow holiness to, to walk in you, darkness has come. So you have just lost it. Husband, keep your wife. Wife, keep your husband. Singles, keep your body as a temple of the Holy Ghost. Run. Run. Boaz is there. You, run, you end up with Boaz. Yes. You, yes, root is there. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not even looking. Because God knows where my root is. Is somebody hearing me? God knows where my root is. All I'm doing, I'm focused on God as the author and the finisher. He's going to finish it. Somebody shout. Say he's going to finish it. If I run up. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So let us run this race with holiness, purity of heart. Yes. Run with faith. Run with faith. Grow in faith. Like J J Jacob. Jacob, in, in Genesis 20, 32, verse 28, 26, Jacob, Genesis 32, verse 26, Jacob held the spirit, held that God, <laughs> held the angel who, what? He said, listen, I will not let you go. That's the spirit, that's the race I'm talking about. You think I'm a failure? You say I'm a supplanter? I'm not going to, they have called me all kinds of names. But I'm ready for my change. So today, I'm not letting you go until you bless me. This race must be complete in the name of Jesus. Until you bless me, Jacob kept on running. Oh yes, he knows he was going somewhere. Oh yes, he knows he was get that name. He knows there's something about him that I've not showed up yet. Says of God, there's something about you that I've not showed up yet. But if you become that Jacob, if you become that Jacob, that radical. That corrosive, and you stand and say, Pra, katua, tua, tua, oh, rabba, kwa, kwa, kwa. Where are they? We must deal with this matter. You stand firm, you hold on to the issue, hold on to God. Father, until you bless me, I know you are a blesser, I know you are my redeemer, I know you are the bishop of my soul, I know you are my giver, you are my Jehovah Rapha, I know you are the changer of destiny, my father, my father, until you change my life. I will not let you go. Somebody shall fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Run with faith. Let this faith take you to your next level. To your next dimension. David ran towards Goliath. Are you hearing me? You cannot run away from your issue. We are on a race. David, no. If I don't kick Goliath out, Goliath will kick me out. So he was on his race. What have you come to do, Goliath? You, you, you defiler of the armies of Israel. Now give way. The Bible says David ran and cut off the head of Goliath. What of Esther? Esther said, if I perish, I perish this lane. I must complete this reign. Esther ran until she saved the Jews. What about Daniel? Daniel said, I will not eat the meat of this world. Daniel said, ah, I must pray. I must save God. They threw Daniel on the pit. Daniel continued and Daniel got up with promotion. What of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? They thought it was over, but they ran the race to the fire. I said they ran into the fire, and the fire quenched. Is somebody hearing me? When you run into the fire, because you carry greater fire, that fire must quench. Oh yes, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, the fire could not burn them, because they ran into the fire. They refused to give up. They refused to give in. They refused to surrender. They refused to surrender. They refuse to surrender. Somebody shout, I refuse to surrender. Shout, I must complete the race. That's what Paul said. Yes, I fought a good fight. I finished the race. Therefore, it's late for me, verse 8. Ah, 2 Timothy 4, verse 8. He said, therefore, it's late for me. There's something waiting for me. Tell somebody there's something waiting for you. In the name of Jesus, there's something waiting for you. He said, therefore, it's late for me. That, that, that righteousness, that crown of righteousness, saints of God, you will carry your crown. Is somebody hearing me? I say, you must carry your crown. I say, you must carry your crown. Is somebody there? Shout, I must carry my crown. Shout it one more time. Say, I must carry my crown. Listen, this is no joke. David said, should I pursue over this troop? And God said, what are you talking about? Pursue, overtake, come on, overtake. We don't fail. We don't fail. We don't fail. Overtake and recover all. Somebody shout and recover all. Stand on your feet. It's time to pursue. We cannot be crawlers anymore. We are not born to be crawlers. Listen, I'm not born to be crawler. My business will not crawl. My job will not crawl. I will not crawl in marriage. When God has put together, I must fulfill it in the name of Jesus. The thing is that we have so many pretenders. You are single, you are working so hard. When God bless you with that man or that woman, you go back to your real self. You are always coming for prayer meeting. You are always coming. Don't know that you are hitting some targets. When you catch the fish, when you throw the net, then it's over. Eat the fish and stay. You no more know God again. You forget the God that gave you the fish. Oh yes, people have told me, Apostle, is the door open? They don't have a job. They don't have a job. Apostle, is the church open? I want to pray. You want to pray. What's going on? I want to pray. I want to pray. Why? Because there's no job. Apostle, come pray, pray, pray. When they get job. When they get that job, huh? Ah, laga, daga, daga, da. Where are you? Oh, I was walking. They signed to walk over time. They signed to walk over time. The God that they were chasing before, they leave the lane. And they begin to run on two lanes. You cannot do that. Because the Bible says, God is a jealous God. If the God that gave it to you, when you were struggling, he gave it to you. When you get it, don't forget him. Because that is one thing that saved me. If, if when he gave me, I had stopped, I would have lost everything. But instead, I pursued more. I pursued more. Because I know I am still on a race. I know I'm still running. All I need to do is to continue to run until I wear the crown. Is somebody there? Tell somebody congratulations that you are on a race. Say you win that race.